Skadoosh. We're up in Ground Zero Comics today, located in Strongsville, Ohio. I highly recommend if anyone's ever in the area, come check this place out. It's really cool. Marcus, the owner, he's a real nice dude. He was even so kind to uh, let me crack open a bunch of these boxes up in the shop so we can all get a preview of what's in store, what's all inside. So this is a really, really exciting, uh, exciting video and exciting time. It's, a, it's, it's an exciting time to be alive, guys. So let's do this. Um, I don't got my handy dandy blade with me. All I got is this right here, maybe a CVS card, Giant Eagle. I know, it's crazy. I like to live wild. Good luck shop. <laughs> These are all, all the cards you see pulled in this video. They go in the shop. Um, and uh, they should be available. I don't know if it's, I think it's this weekend. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, definitely come to, the, uh, come to the shop to get your singles and boxes and all types of stuff. Oh, those box toppers, hot dogs. I did not do previews. I did not do spoilers, although I spoiled the card yesterday, a new commander card that's busted. Uh, you got to check that out. Um, but this is Gala Greeters right here. Really freaking nice. Okay, we'll take it. There's one card in there, right? Sweet. Oh, man, the art has come so far. In, uh, in Magic the Gathering, it's, it's just unreal, man. I will say this. I dropped them promo packs yesterday, which they had to be errors, you know? I don't know, maybe Rudy repacked them or something. Who the heck knows? But, yeah, maybe they were errors. I don't know. But we were pulling two Mythic cards of the same Mythic card back-to-back -back out of packs. And that's not normal. That just does not happen. These packs feel lighter, by the way. That just, uh, that's not normal. So uh, there was definitely some errors going on. Then I had a misprint. One of my fans pointed out. Really cool. Something we got to note. I am hearing from more than one individual that they're just not really excited about this set. And I'm trying to understand why. Get a load of that. There's their crew captain. Ooh, the camera had to refocus on that puppy. Okay. Nice, nice art. Unleash the Inferno. And we got the muscle. All right. Muscle and foil. But um, people don't like the gangster theme or the mafia theme, I guess, is what it is. I think I may have to move these packs, guys, because uh, that's going to create an issue. If I don't worry, yeah, it's going to be a huge problem. The lighting's a little different in this video. Uh, my apologies, but it is what it is for where I'm recording. So sorry about that. I know, I know. Oh, oh, man. Yeah, no spoilers, no previews. I did nothing uh, to learn about this set. Uh, I think maybe the first time I've ever done that. Um, I'll go through the common uncommons a little slow in the beginning, but then you know we're going to just kick it into high gear, man, and just start speeding through everything. Oh, I don't, no bell. We got Vivian on the hunt. That was a sick promo foil I pulled yesterday. Oh, my God. If you haven't seen that video after this, check it out. I'll link it at the end. Rakish Revelers. Oh, man, Remorseless Punishment shows up. I was just ready to smack a bell there. There's no bell to smack. All right, so we got our first little list pool. Which is pretty legit. We're going to put these up here. We're just going to make some crazy piles. Oh, my goodness. I'll pay for that one, I swear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No signed card yet. Another foil, you can barely tell. All right. Going through the common uncommons at a better speed now. Whoa, racer's ring. That is nutty. Everything just looks so, uh, so fresh and pops. I will say this, though, after getting my experience, uh, the experience under my belt yesterday and now today, um, I do like the older, uh, the last set better. Neon Ink, I think was just, I think Neon Ink is just breathtaking, man. Like, the artwork on it is just phenomenal. So, I'm a big fan of Neon Ink, and of course, that's what happens when you pull all three uh, colors that could be found in boxes, collector boxes. We got the red, the green, and the blue, which was off the chain. What the heck? It's only a 15 drop. No big deal. There you go. That's cool. Shadow of Mortality. If your life total is less than your starting life total, this spell costs X less to cast. Or X I had a feeling there was something going on there. All right, that's cool. So we got our first little... Uh, Extended art and there's Shadow of Mortality again, back to back. And Void Rend Foil. This is a little powerhouse, man. The spell can't be countered, which is crazy. And the destroy target non-land permanent. Not exile, but destroy. 
still nonetheless that is uh that's pretty amazing all right that's a nice foil we got so that deserves a bell but we don't got one i just want you guys to know if, if you're a fan of a strange dark and mysterious delivered in story format then you've come to the right place because that's all we do and we upload now only one time a week if that because we've grown so big okay so now you know guys let's keep it going but if that interests you then by all means hit the like button i'm so salty about that some people don't know who, who the heck and what i'm talking about but whoa look at all that look at all this look at all this gray stuff okay uh mr ballin big fan of mr ballin and i used uh, his little bit yesterday Ooh, meeting of the five there you go the five amigos there you go great is it three amigos it's three amigos Meeting of the five. Uh, Excel the top ten cards of your library. You may cast spells with exactly three colors from among them this turn. Add a whole bunch of mana. <laughs> Spend as mana only to cast spells with exactly three colors. Whoa. All right. So our first mythic. We'll line them up. Foil light. <laughs> line them up. I said light them up. Oh, Joey. Joey, Joey. Um, I'm here. Yeah. I know I'm all over the place. Scatterbrain. Or, but I am hearing people say... I don't really care for the theme of this set, man. Um, I guess I don't blame you because there was a lot of things I didn't like. When I first learned about Planeswalkers, um, I was turned off by the idea. And this was like years after the fact when they came out. But I was definitely turned off by it. Broker's Charm is pretty cool. These charms, uh, watch out for these charms, man. There's some power up in here. Spara's Headquarters. Ooh, these Trilands. Packing a powerful punch. And Hold for Ransom. There we go. So... With the Triumphs back, I really like that. I'll tell you, that's a that's a nice hit. You, you open uh, three or four Triumphs in one little box. I mean, I'd say some solid value. But yeah, Planeswalkers. Whoops, I thought we had an error card there. Whoa, we do got a little... Uh, I can't stand this. When the artist does not sign, um, and I'm sure maybe based on, I don't know if it's religion or, or beliefs, or they just don't do that, or maybe they don't know how to write... Or if, you know, maybe they're missing a, a limb or two. I can understand that, you know. Um, but I don't know why we're seeing so many cards that are just stamped and not signed by the artist. Um, I think that just really takes away from anything whatsoever about those cards being special. Um, and they, they need to do away with them altogether, in my opinion. Uh, I, I don't give a crap for those uh, pressed gold stamped cards um in my opinion they are worthless i don't care i don't care they're worthless <laughs> you think otherwise i i don't i just think they're worthless what i would love to see and i've said this in many videos i would love to see wizards actually get the artists to sign maybe a hundred cards you know set, ship them out to their house have them mail them back before release throw them in boxes at random whatever uh do it that way Let's get something special out of these, you know? Who would not want a signed, uh, an, actually, an actual autographed card of their favorite? Oh, wow! Hold up. That looks sick. That must be something special. Oh, my God. That looks amazing. Is this like the new, the new foil? Yeah, pretty certain it is. I remember saying for a fat minute they got to come out with some new kind of foil here or something uh and that would be awesome you know and then the etch came out and then soon after etch oh that is sick okay <laughs> that's probably the prettiest card i've seen in a very long time blows away neon ink stuff too um but those neon ink cards are fun when they glow in the dark anyway no freaking clue what i was just talking about there um yeah get the artist to sign 100 cards i don't know how many artists participate in one of these but do that then have them distribute those cards uh you know in the box in the boxes whatever the case may be Ooh, there's benny brax zoologist we got our first uh mythic of uh commander pretty sweet with the convoke on it extraction specialist hot dogs i'll protect you with this sword okay grizzly sigil sigil there you go and the maelstrass crime is an art form is it really i did not know that you learn something new every day guys you see that all right, our mythic pile has just grown a little bit. We are happy about that. I'm going to put all these rares in the same pile. I think that'll just make things a heck ton quicker for us. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, all rares have now been condensed into one pile. Moving things around. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm sure they've done it in other products. I think MetaZoo does something similar to that. 
I think, can't be, don't quote me on that, but I think they do. Uh, and I'm sure other, you know, other sets uh, you know, caught on. Sports cards have been doing it forever. Uh, but that would make the cards actually worth something, you know, not just worthless. I just, I just don't see anything that makes me say, you know what, I'm going to go out of my way and pick one of these up. I'm going to hit up my local game store. I'm going to go on eBay, a TCG player, and I'm going to buy this dude's stamp card. No, that's, that, that's silly, and um, they need to do away with it. Do away with it. There's Bruiser. Do away with it. <clears throat> what else was there? Uh, those promo packs were something else. I don't know if that's a thing or not, uh, but pulling two of the same Mythic back-to-back -back in, in a pack that only contains three cards... It's pretty crazy. Offer you can't refuse. Solid card. Those towers and Gallic readers. Okay. Okay. So I guess these might be like chase cards. The boulder. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research on that. Or maybe just pause the video in a bit and go talk to some people and see what's up. Maybe learn a thing or two about it. Ooh. Right after this, actually, I will. Ooh. Sanctuary Warden. Hot dogs. Angel Soldier. Any of these cards, if I go too quick, it's going to be a long video, guys. Um, I'd rather just, you know, have you pause the video at any time you see something that you enjoy uh, and give it a look. There's the old Kraken. Love Kraken, Captain. Cutthroat Contender. Oh, I want more list pools. Let me get some info. All right, they are known as Gilded Foils. So, Gilded Foils. Very interesting. Um, they look good. Wait till you see them in person. It'll blow your mind. All right. Uh, but yeah, thoughts on this because just so many people have said, eh, I don't care for it. And I'm like, well, that's fine. You don't have to like everything. You know, I don't like everything. You know, it is what it is. Observer. And uh, the Masteros again, seen that too many times already. But something I had to say uh, once I finished this box, just to get a good feel of the set, what all the creatures are in it. I think we're focused on demons and angels. I see uh, vampires are up in here. I uh, got some Lucky Charms. Tenacious Underdog. There you go. Okay. And the Mentor. So that uh, Tenacious Underdog was some different kind of art there. And there's Warm Welcome. Oh, yeah. Right up that ass. There you go. Hot dogs, baby. Uh, exquisite blood. Uh, it doesn't get too much better than that. This card has been slightly creeping down in price. And I would assume because it has remained in, on the list. They call it the list. It's like, what, 1,200 or 1,500 cards? Uh, some rotate out. New ones sometimes rotate in when a new uh, set draft booster drops. Um, and that they, I think the list idea was really a cool idea. Um, and I give them a lot of credit. Man, get a load of these lands, though. There you go. Little city, uh, city space there. Um, the list cards were just a phenomenal idea. And uh, it shows. It definitely shows. Ooh, the outdoor, the incinerator. I think, is that the card we pulled twice back-to-back -back yesterday with the promo? I believe so. Nice demon god. All right, that is our third or fourth? Fourth mythic. There's Daper. We really stepped it up. Uh, this box is looking pretty nice. This box is looking pretty nice. Let's see what else we get here. I'm debating if I should open two. I bet I will. <laughs> if we should open two boxes. There's more Boulder, Seraph, and Conductor. Okay. Ooh, whoa. Now, this is something else I mentioned, I swear. And this is not me thinking, you know, like, oh, you know, Joey Moss is to, is to credit. I'm not whatsoever. But it's just really ironic, like Alanis Morissette, that I'll say something months, even a year ahead, and then Wizards does it. This is one of those things. I said, why don't you give us foil in the Commander decks at random? Why don't you give us foil cards inserted in this slot as well like you know like for the uh commander cards something they didn't always do you know and now we're starting to see that i think this is the first set they've done that and um that's a big hats off to, to wizards of the coast i mean hey i may not be the only person saying that stuff i guarantee i'm not i'm sure a lot of people are with me and when they hear the, the idea they're all like yeah that'd be cool you know um but that is definitely something uh, that I was like, we could definitely critique this. Ooh, Elspeth, resplendent. Damn. Damn, son. Where'd you get all that? Is that how it goes? I don't know. I don't know. Elspeth, resplendent. Oh, man. 
she is gorgeous. That is nice. Okay, we, we're done gawking, guys. Stop it. Another mythic hit. One shield agent. That's probably our best pool right now. Couldn't tell you what it's valued at, but I know it ain't cheap. And all the price, I'm not doing pricing on any videos for like a week. Uh, there's no sense. All prices are going to drop. It's a new release. Don't be stupid. Uh, hold off a little bit at least if you're going to go pick up some singles. But there's always a couple cards in a set I like to speculate on. And uh, right now, I'm kind of getting my bearings together here. Just understanding, you know, what's all inside packs before or inside this set. Before I decided to make my uh, decision to pick up, you know, a random speculation piece, if, if, if you will. But that time will come, and I'm sure I'll let you guys know. Okay, another gilded foil. But this, the one on the left is done so much better. You see that? It's almost like they came from two separate, like, print runs or something. The, um, this one's definitely a lot nicer. This one's faded. So that's that's weird. I wonder what's up with that. Um, this one pops. It looks like it's actually, like, protruding, you know, like it, or it's, it's coming up. Uh, what, what do you call that? It's, like, embossed, embossed, whatever. It's, uh, it's popping up, man. <laughs> well, the other one doesn't appear to do that, so... Something to note, endless, endless detour, cut of the profits, nice square foil, you can barely tell it's a foil. Oh, what the hell did we just pull? I don't know what just happened. Uh, I have no idea what the hell just happened here. Uh, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta talk to Marcus. What the hell just happened? I gotta talk to Marcus on this. Uh, this could be a really, 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 really big pool. I simply don't know. It was in the very last uh, last slot there. What the heck? Let me get some information about this behemoth. Um, I left it on the screen. Hope you guys all got a good little view of that. Let's find out what the heck that is. Okay, that is from something called uh, like Universes Within. And it is like a secret lair kind of thing. I'm not sure what to make of that exactly. Um, but... That is now considered to be on the list. So they're putting secret layer cards or whatever, the universe beyond or whatever, into packs. That's That just blew my freaking mind. Nice to see that because that is, is a heavy hitter. Um, it's about 30 bucks currently. I'm sure price will come down. I don't know if it was announced that they were doing something like that. But that is really cool. And I mentioned some stuff like that before in videos, too, that it'd be nice to mix things up, you know? Just give us a random big boom every now and then. Like some, something crazy that we just don't expect, you know? And, man, they are just delivering left and right. Body Launderer. It's just dude to do it over here. Shooting up, man. I don't know about that, guys. Um, oh, he's like, uh, I don't know, he's doing something to somebody. Filling them with that juice, I guess. I don't know. Body launderer. Whoa. Okay. Nice little foil. Oh, we got a lot of mythics already. The boulder. All right. Yeah, I couldn't even. I didn't know what to do when I saw that. I didn't know, I didn't know how to react because uh, I've never, never experienced that before, and it completely caught me off guard. So that is really, really, really cool. All right. Let's keep this going. Got Island Boy and Showers Charm. There's the Pegasus. Okay. Initiate. Nothing crazy. Wow. That um that really threw me off. Okay. Alright. Good times. Great old. Here we go. Ooh. I'm still not certain uh, of what card, if any, uh, that I'm gonna spec on. I always like to spec on one though. Last uh last set, I think I made a big woof. A big I biffed it hard, man. Cut of the profits. Antagonize foil. Um, so far, I'm at a loss for money right now. I haven't checked the price on it yet. And I'm trying to remember or recall the name of the card. But I picked up, I think, like 30 copies worth. For around like two bucks each um, from the last set. That looks nice. I don't think these are going to be as sought after as uh, the last little run was with neon. The neon ink, the Japanese ones. Those ones are sick. 
Um, yeah, it's hard to compete on those streets with that, man. It's hard to compete in the streets. There's Ascendancy. All right. And the backup agent. Wow. I'm like almost like, 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 like not expecting, but like really hopeful in that last slot now that we're going to hit some fire. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Swink. Swampy. We'll take it. All right. If you guys um, enjoy openings and stuff, if you watch this long into the video, I highly suggest you subscribe. We crack a bunch of crazy stuff here. Vintage openings. You, you name it when it comes to magic, we crack it. Ooh, nimble. Larcenous. This is just really nice. This looks... Oh, this is a copy of the other one. This is a good comparison right here. So here's the other one. I wonder... Like, one's faded. You, can, you should be able to clearly see this. One's extremely faded. One on the left. Correct. Uh, but, yeah, that was a good little side-by-side. -side. I guess this is... The way the cookie crumbles, maybe we got a misprint there. Uh, highly doubt it. I don't think I was going to pay much more for something faded, you know. But then again, it happens. All right, here we go. Here we go. Wow, talk about a bunch of gold stuff. All right, there's Evolving Door. And call in a professional. Wow, are you serious? <laughs> what? All right, we just hit another one of these... Secret layer. That's gonna okay. If these do, if these, if this is the same art used in secret layers that they're selling on their secret layer website, and they're putting these into packs, random set boosters at this kind of a pool rate, that is gonna crash the living hell out of the price of secret layers. But I don't know that that's the case. They drop so many secret layers. Who the hell knows what's going on? I got. I don't even. I can't keep track of them all. There, there's just way too many. Um, there's just way too many secret layers to keep track of anymore. I still pick a few up here and there, but nothing like I used to. Um, I just think Wizards went way overboard on the secret layer thing. Um, and once you just do something way too much, it, it, it loses its luster. It's not special anymore, you know? So it is what it is. A Sanguine Spy, followed by Nimble. All right. I'll do another box today. We'll crack one more box in today's video. Tomorrow, expect the same thing. We're going to open a whole bunch of stuff. Probably draft. Um, um, maybe open... Uh, I'm not going to be here for the draft, though. And then maybe... Maybe if I can get my hands on it. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to crack some other stuff. Uh, might have to shop around, though. Uh, there's District and Rabble Rouser. You ever rouse the Rabbles? Uh, okay. Broken Wings and Tezzeret Betrayal. What's going on in the back here? Um, we've pulled three rares. I mean, I guess they're considered rares with that, right? No, that's a rare. Three rare in that final slot now, the list slot. That I know, an exquisite blood. This is nuts. Just between this card, the Arvanox, I'm not sure the price on Sigarden. Um, we're just between those three right there alone. At least a minimum $65. Just in those three cards. That's 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 nutty. I don't know if this is normal. I don't I don't think it's normal. <laughs> uh, I don't know if they do this in every box or if all boxes are like this, but this has been really good um, from my experience. Uh mean negotiator. Sweet to see the commander cards up in here. Even the score. Wow, okay. That looks hot. And the Mythic symbol really pops on that. People are a little scared with the high casting cost of this set. And I'm just kind of like, shut up, you know? All right. Ledger Shredder foil. So we had a rare. We had a Mythic. We got a rare foil. Holy hell. What is going on? Somebody tell me. This cannot be normal. This is not right. This isn't right, right? Haunted Mage. What? Medic! Starship Troopers up in here, man. I'm gonna find some stuff out. I guess they were just added to the list recently. These cards were just recently added to the list, and that's it. Um, I, I believe they come from Secret Layers, though. But this seems like an extremely high pull rate for rares and mythic cards in the list spot. Um, I don't recall that being normal. Wow! Maybe this is the best box I've ever opened of the... This is the only box I've opened so far. 
I'm really curious to see what the next box looks like. Because this one has just been on fire. Like, wow. Okay, incriminate. That closes out this box. I'm going to pause it and just collect up some stuff here. But what is what, what, what is happening, Captain? I don't always do this, but here's a quick recap. Here's all the mythics. We got one, two, three, four, five, five mythic right there. Six, seven, eight, nine. Holy crap. Uh, here's the secret layer cards. Ten mythic cards in one set booster. The exquisite blood. Holy crap. And three of these. What is going on, man? That's a foil right there, too, by the way. Something, something crazy is happening here. Let's see what's happening up in this next one. Uh, if it's anything like that. Um, busted. Yeah, what the heck? All right, we're going to find out. So box number two. I hope you guys are still sticking around. Because this is uh, this is getting silly, Billy. Oh, we got the same, same box topper. What if that's in all of them? I really don't know. It might be. Nobody knows. Sure. All right, big money honey. Give me that big money honey. If this is how set boosters are now, I don't know if the price is going to go up because of the amount of cards uh, that are just being mass printed in that slot. What the hell happened to this thing? Let's open this pack first. Like it fell straight out of a dumpster. All right, let's see what's up, man. Wow, this pack has been crushed. Come on, give me that. Give me that crimp. Give me that crimpy. There we go. Give me that crimp. Any crimps? Probably not. All right. Starting things off. That fella. Oh, moving all these packs out of here. Get out of my way. There we go. There we go. Thanks for tuning in. But uh, By the way, guys, I appreciate it. Especially if you made it this far. If you made it this far, let me know that. You're sitting at a station waiting for the Express to pull up. But, man, you've got these pinions, and they keep rocking your knuckles. You're hoping they'll yield, but at some point, you just got to upstart a seraph and just charm the living pants off of its mortality. If you do that, you're probably able to extract some of the maestros, the maestros, and they're going to probably join your cause until you're deserted. Okay. Another one. Um, that seems like overload. Like, are these even... <laughs> they can't all be like this. Cut it out. Stop it. They cannot all be this good. I mean, wow. I, right? <laughs> Sometimes I wish I had more people that would work, wanted to be in the videos. Um, record with me or something, you know? Because, man, that would that would make things so easy. It's nice having, like, Sabrina here with me to do this stuff, but... Gotta be professional at all times, you know? Can't go against the grain. Gotta be cookie cutter, man. Here we go. Shrink. All right. I like that they flip these the other way now. Maybe someone told them something like, can you not do that anymore, wizards? Thanks, man. Where's my other card like that? I don't see it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Bada bing. All right. Let's kick it up. I'm expecting, like, something, a huge hit. Um, oh, that's nice. Wow. Proving ground. <laughs> there it is. Whoop. There it is. There you go. Okay. Uh, proving ground. Evolving door. Holy crap. Ready to rumble. There you go. Let's get ready to rumble, baby. Why is this token over here? Okay, we gotta put this up here. Token could go like over here or something. All right, guys. This uh, this is very, uh, very interesting. Very interesting, to say the least. Flipping, ripping. Anyone pre-order product? I know my, my, uh, my patrons uh, have pre-ordered uh, a couple cases worth of collector boxes from me. We're going to be digging through those puppies uh, pretty freaking soon. Wow. I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> I mean, I did not do my research on this product because I wanted to be surprised and like blown away, but I, I thought, or I would, I would imagine if they were throwing stuff like that inside of boxes, they they wouldn't be so frequent, right? You'd think they wouldn't be as frequent. Broker's Charm, again, very nice. That one's a bit more faded than uh, the other ones that popped earlier. That's a nice one. So, not really sure what's what's happening here. 
getting more experience as we go. Always take a look at the mythics that are worth, uh, not worthless, but uh, way down the tubes uh, at the at, at the start of a release and whatnot, because those are the ones likely, or that, you know, best potential to spike up. Wow, that looks good. That looks nice. Throw a little stamp on there, too. I don't think all foils do that. It's like a pre-release stamp or something. Okay. But, yeah, uh... Probably tell you guys what the bottom ones are right now. All right, we're gonna keep it going though. Planes, and we're gonna find more out about these uh, secret layer cards or whatever they're called. Throwing in here, cut your losses. What losses? We are friggin' rocking out right now. What? Why is the pull rate for rares so extremely high? Uh, <laughs> for that, for that slot, an offering you can't refuse foil. That was nice. Like these these packs just seem to be just spitting out fire. Now that that one looks cool. I like that one. It's like that signature flows uh, with the card there. There you go. Well done, Igor. Well done, my friend. Oh man, if if I get like two or three more, I, I'm just I'm gonna be baffled. Ho! Oh! Proving ground slapping around some more value. There's a kill shot. Wasn't that by MGK? I'm going to his concert, by the way. Mm. Bought tickets for me and the lady. I think it's uh, it's in the summer. I think in August maybe in Cleveland. Should be fun. Should be fun. Wow, Avril Lavigne's gonna be there. That's what I'm excited about. Hey, there's the painter. He looks happy, huh? Look at that cheesy smile, man. Imagine this guy approaches you in a dark alley. Nice to meet you, sir. May I shake your hand? And he says, sure. Okay. There we go. There right, we got this guy. No mythic. Wait, no mythic yet? Besides that guy? Okay. It's first mythic. There it is, right? Yep, okay. Ascendancy, soul of emancipation. When you're holding this in your hand, I'm telling you, it looks breathtaking. Holy crap, especially the ones that pop. If you get one that don't pop, it's like to be you. Someone's gonna go and open an entire box after watching this. And they're gonna get absolute dumpster fire. They're gonna scream up a storm at me, I swear it's gonna happen. <laughs> Corpse appraiser, ring, larcenist. Wow, what a box! What is that like our third or fourth uh, land here? And just this opening, there's one, two. Where where is it? I thought it's out two, two, three. We're at three right now. Oh man, rocks plunder. How about like one more mythic secret layer pool? Uh, they better not be one a box. Oh, don't be one a box, Watsy. Don't be one a box. Make stuff valuable, please. Don't just suck all the value out of everything you touch. Uh, torch breath. Midnight clock. Rare list slot is amped up. Okay. I do recall saying something. I, I, someone pulled up the video. I said it like two or three times I, in multiple videos. I said, take out the common and uncommon cards, unless they're worth two bucks and up. Who who remembers this? If you remember me saying this in a video, please, please get my back in this. Uh, take out the common and uncommon cards in the list slot, unless they're two bucks and up. Maybe even make them more scarce. Give us stuff worth value. Just have rare or mythic in the list slot alone. That will sell boxes like crazy. Who the hell remembers me saying that? That wasn't even that long ago. I think I said it maybe six six months to eight months ago. And I, then again recently, maybe like three, four months ago. But somebody let me know. And um, you can't link the video, but like include the title of it in uh, in the description. I'll, whoever does that first, I'm going to send you out something sweet. Trust me, you're going to like it. I'm going to hook you up with something real nice, okay? All right, we got Midnight Clock, which uh, is another list pool. But I swear, man, like, I maybe that's why Wizards doesn't talk to me. They hate me so much. <laughs> they don't respond to my emails. I quit, like, years ago. They won't reply to me, and I just thought I upset them by, like, destroying stuff, um, you know, on video. I mean, I, we, we've destroyed two, three hundred-dollar cards before on this channel. It's nuts. And we're going to do it all again. Uh, Capenna Express, foil, and just nothing there. But that was something that I mentioned, and it always seems like... 
swear, it's just one thing after another. It, it could be extreme coincidence. Um, we will know more. We will know more when they get rid of this right here. See this? When they stop doing this crap right here, if they, <laughs> if they abolish those from set boosters uh, in the next couple of sets, we'll, we'll know what's up. Toolbox, Tolray, there you go. Another Mythic, beautiful. And Evelyn, the covetous. Tavern Swindler. Seeing a, a, a foil commander card in these is really neat, though. That is really neat. And seeing the commander decks that you can pull foils now is really cool, too. Maybe I'm just psychic. Maybe maybe it's not that I, I know things and they use my ideas. Maybe I just see ahead. I see the future. I got this little crystal ball. And we're going to pull something sick as hell. You ready? There it's not. <laughs> Nimble Arsonist. Bada bang. All right. This has been too good to us. This whole thing has been really too good to us. Keeping it going. Like, I'm not trying to toot my own horn because no one likes no one likes that kind of shit, especially me. No one likes when someone just brags and shit, but I'm just saying the coincidences are just nuts, man. Rocks, Beatdown, Outlaw, and Structural Assault. There you have it. Ooh, Tramway Station. Again, those do look beautiful. Well done on this set, Wizard of the Coast. I'm actually having a really good time opening these. More than I thought I would. Um, a lot more than I thought I would, but that's because of the increased pull rate of these of the list slot just being bonkers. Revelers, undercover operative, mails from theater, nothing. All right, I'll speed this up a little bit. You guys have been patient with me enough. If you made it this far in the video, I want you to put plus one plus one counter in the comment section. Just put plus one plus one counter in the comments. Plus one plus one counter in the comments. Here we Widespread thieving, metamorphosis, and nothing. Yeah, they, they. I did not pull a single common or uncommon list card, um, and that's something I complained about. I said, "Stop doing that shit," <laughs> and uh, they stopped doing it. I mean, it's pretty evident so far. Seraph, interceptor, ballroom brawlers, foil, bam! Another wow. I mean, this, what the funk, dude? Like, this can't be normal. Like, I mean, or maybe it is. But, I mean, this is this is really strange because yesterday the promo packs I was cracking was just dumb. Like, that was not normal either. That was not, that was not normal, I, I, how they worked. And now today, back to back of the same mythic and all these rare, something's going on, man. Unless these are one per box. <laughs> We just, <laughs> I, something, something's got to give. I don't know. I got no idea, man, what's going on here. Nice foil. Um, these seem to be slightly more scarce, which, uh, which is really good. I like that it seems like they've increased the rarity of that foil for the land, uh, the extended art land. I mean, they already give us enough of them as it is. Ooh, that looks good. Oh, that's a cool card. I like the hybrid casting costs on these. Very, very cool. They already give us enough. Angel of Suffering. Wow, look at that. If damage will be dealt to you, prevent that damage and mill twice that many cards. Ah, damn. Okay. That's one way to die, huh? All right. So, uh, Clever Conductor is nice. The Angel of Suffering. Really cool. Adding to the Mythics. Deal's gone bad. And Sakashima Student. They got rid of Uncommon Common. They did what I suggest again, bros. Oh, my God. That is too cool. All right. That is too cool. All right. I, and now I know the reps are all watching the videos. All right. Fair enough, man. Got you all, we got you guys all figured out there, wizards. Got you all figured out, man. Really cool. All right. Straightened up a little bit. Here we go. The packs are just falling everywhere. I'm making a mess on the back aisle here. Let's see what else. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Nothing there. All right, now, now's the time we pull something just stupid as hell. What the hell just fell over there? Okay, that's the background. That's some weird stuff. Okay. Um, now's the time we pull something really stupid, right? Now's the time we just get freaking excited and pull that crazy etch or something. Cemetery Tampering, which, Adamo and I have talked, we are going to film a Magic the Gathering match in a cemetery. Last time we got kicked out, but not this time. Big score. Ooh, Haven't Go Laboratory. 
other some of the flip cards too. Holy crap! Legendary land. This has to be something like normal to the set, right? And the list, like they 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 rearranged the list, like clear as day. And the list the list has been made over, and I'm glad it was because man, the fact that he would even think to throw all them shitty freaking common and uncommon cards in, on the list was just dumb. Like, I mean, I never understood that. Oh, cool, I pulled the three-cent card in the back of here. You know, one in, one in every six, seven packs. What would it do? Who the hell cares, you know? Endless Detour. Again, with uh, Riveteer's Charm. I am noticing the rare... Uh, the rare. Wait, no, this is just normal. Never mind, moving along. That's just when you're normal, guys. Why is that one stamped, though? Is all the charms stamped like that? Oh, um, I know why. The guild shit. That's what it is, guys. It's the guild. It's the guilds. Depending on what guild or what gang you're in or, you know, whatever. Shh, can't say that around here. Uh, we'll be picked if you get this little symbol on there. <sighs> That's probably uh, a more sought-after one right there, I would imagine. <laughs> there we go. Nice little pull there. Uh, out of things I talk crap about often. Let's see what else. Oh, we're getting hype now, man. We're getting hype. Giada. Font of Hope. Broken Veteran. Nothing else. Okay. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on, Daddy-o. Give me some of that fire, baby. Give me some of that fire. Shrink. Mountain Foil. Ooh. So many charms. There's a... Tennis? 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 Tenacious? I want to say tenacious so bad. Uh, Evelyn, the Covetous. We're just going to stop there. Ooh, Urabrask, Heretic Praetor. That's a big boy. I was hoping to see this little Phyrexian son of a gun. There you go. And Skybridge Towers. There you go. Very, very cool. Big hit there for us. But we want bigger. That's what she said. I know, it's weird, guys. I know. We got this. Now I'm feeling a little loosey-goosey. You guys ready? We're going to get silly here. I'm getting my comfort zone, baby. You don't want no part of that shit. Gala greeters, take to the streets. Well, they certainly did. Last two years in America. All right, let's see what else we got here. Let's see what else we got here. People were going nuts here, man, for a few years. All right, here we go. Uh, this, oh, that swamp looks dope. Very, very nice swampy. All right, let's keep it going. Big hit, big hit. Come on, make me, make me proud. Sanguine Spy is not going to cut it. Snooping. Snooping Newsy. <laughs> Get out of here, Snooping Newsy. Don't want your shit. Elmar Uvenwald Informant. Craziness, man, in that slot there. We got a few more packs to go. Ladies and gentlemen, I think. That's where I am, you know? Pretty crazy. All right. Getting down to the nitty gritty. Oh, I got something massive. The Mentor. Botanical. Haven't pulled a foil uh, of uh, the new lands though, other than um, common lands. Have not hit. I don't think we had a foil yet of those. But these packs, I'll tell you one thing, are a heck ton more fun to crack than the old set booster packs. So wizards, and I, I know you have to be listening. Good job. Nexus of Rebels. We pulled two of these back to back in a promo pack yesterday. That's not supposed to happen, Jack. Crew captain shows up. Very nice. That's one of those, uh, oh my God, they, the, the, the list slot is, is, is jacked up. Like it's on something. It's got, it's got a pipe and, and, and it's taking hits of that, man. Whatever it's on. I mean, it's nuts. This is like right here, $25, $35 card. Come on, come, come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> This is unbelievable. This really is unbelievable. Oh my goodness. What else? <laughs> Please continue to impress me. Cut of the profits. I am so impressed right now by the pool rates of this product. Glamorous Outlaw. Really cool. Two, more, uh, Three more packs to go. I, I personally am, am going to pick up my own set booster box of this and sit on it. Um, right up the poops. That's where it's going. I, I'm sitting on it for a while because I, I like this and I think they did something really good here. I think they hit a home run. I don't really say that often. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Attended socialite. But uh, there's something special about this. 
Um, I'd have to say we probably got 350 bucks in value at least, um, which is really good. Another foil uh, land there. So maybe they're not as scarce as I thought. Mari the Killing Quill, first time we pulled you. Very, very cool. Sanctuary Warden, another mythic to add to the collection. There you go, Sanctuary Warden. Again, all these cards you can get your hands on uh, just by coming to the store, man. Come step up here. I'm, I'm in here sometimes. You might even see me working in the back being a weirdo recording. You never know. All right, out of the way. And our last pack here of oh, this amazing opening. Can we be... We always get something really good at the end. I don't think we're going to, though. Now we're going to. Ah, it's hard to say. We've hit so many good stuff. I mean, I don't know. Wow. Jetmere's Garden. There you go. There you go. Right there. Very, very cool. Void Rend. What a way to go out. Last Mac. Last Mac. Last Mac Poss is whack. Last Pack Moss is definitely back. Um, yeah, that's this is bonkers. Void. Oh, man. Just oh, please. Give us one more list pull. Just to shut everyone the hell up. Oh, I didn't get it, though. We got them plus one, plus one counters, though. That was sick. What an opening. So a recap on this box. Unbelievable. Um, the pulls were just out of this world. They really, really were. They switched up the list pulls or something. I don't, I don't know. Maybe they accidentally dumped secret layer stuff into this product they shouldn't have. I'm not sure. But something weird's going on here, without a doubt. Uh, and then let's take a look at our Mythic Hits. I pulled a decent amount of lands. I want to say five or six uh, out of this box. These two boxes, I, it's really hard for me to believe all set booster boxes are going to be this good. Um, I don't think you can, you can bet your dollar that your boxes are going to look like this. I think something's off here. I don't know what to make of it yet. But we're going to open more boxes. I, I definitely recommend coming back. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. If you made it this far, especially. It does mean a lot. I appreciate everyone that watches this channel. And I hope I show that to you guys every day by dropping a crap ton of content on you. <laughs> Skadoosh.